Hey guys, come on downstairs. We're playing some road to the show here today. Our career of Matt Christensen continues on here at the AA level. Let's take a look at our schedule here today. We have a four-game series with the Reading Fighting Phils. And we come into this one batting 333 with two home runs and 19 RBIs on the season. And let's get things started off right away. We're at home at Barnes Canyon Ballpark in Erie, Pennsylvania. And let's get game one underway, our first at bat of this episode. Leading off the bottom of inning number one, we take the first pitch down low. Second pitch is a changeup that drops low. Looks like the wind is blowing a little bit either in and to left field. Or out into left field. Hard to tell from that flag out there. We chop a little grounder to first. The wind's not going to affect that much. And we are out in our first at bat of this series. Rodrigo De La Cruz at the plate with a runner on first. De La Cruz is going to ground it right up the middle. And we're going to try to turn two and we get the job done. Redding has taken a three to nothing lead though as we continue to struggle as a team. And here is our second plate appearance. We're 0 for 1 in the day. Redding is up 4 to nothing now. And we watch a breaking ball break just below our knees for a 1-0 count. And we take the fastball on the inside corner. And then we're going to loft a little base hit into right field. That's going to be a single. And we are looking like a singles hitter. So far here, early in our career, things could change. We are very early in our career. 1-2 count. Runner on first is us. Here's the delivery to, I believe that's Tom Brown, if I'm not mistaken, from Rody. And Brown strikes out looking, and that'll bring up Chad Huffman. 0-2 oh, count with one out. Huffman at the plate, and Huffman swings and misses. It looks like it was a foul tip into the catcher's glove. And we're down to Kenny Clemens with two outs. So we reached first with nobody out here in the fourth inning, and now we're at two outs, and Kenny Clemens chases one in the dirt, and we'll have to head back to the dugout. As Rody strikes out the side for the Reading fight and fills, they have four runs on 12 hits. And we have no runs on just one hit. Here's Junior Fernandez. Redding up six to nothing. Runner on first. And Fernandez is going to ground it to the right side. We're looking to turn two again, and we get the job done in the sixth. And that will end the inning. Redding up six to nothing on 14 hits. We only have managed to eke out three hits on the game. We have one of the three. And here's our third plate appearance here in the sixth inning. Rody's only thrown 52 pitches at this point. And we work the count to 2-0, and now we take one for 3-0. We'll see if we have the red light on. We do. We just take it right down the middle trying to get some base runners here. And we'll take another one, and that one is right down the pipe. 3-2 count now. And we get some pretty good wood on this one, driving it to right center field. But it is going to be chased down and caught by either the right or center fielder. I'm not even sure which one caught it. So we're one for three with the single back in the fourth inning. And we now are batting in the eighth. And we're going to line a base hit right up the middle. And that is going to score a run. And we get an RBI meaningless in the whole scheme of the game. As we lose 11 to one. But we go two for four with an RBI and a couple of singles. And we head to the second game of this four-game series with the fight and fills in the first inning of this one. Batting average up to 337 with 20 RBIs on the year. And we take the fastball for strike one. This one's off the plate inside, a two-seamer. And we uh, stay back on a breaking ball, driving it right back up the middle in a good way to start this outing with a base hit. And that'll bring up... Uh, this dude, Vasquez, he's a second baseman. Tall, lanky second baseman. And, man, he put a charge into that one into left field, and that one is way gone. We stopped at second base to admire it. But Vasquez puts us on the board early with a 2 to nothing lead. And we will score a run on the Vasquez dinger. 
Look how huge that guy is. For a second baseman, he's like a foot taller than me. All right, we're one for one on the day with a single. Leading two to one, we gave up a run. Not a very good shutdown inning for us. 2-0 count, facing the lefty. And we work the count to 3-0. and And then take a strike at the knees. 3-1 delivery with one out. And we are going to be put on first with a walk. So that's our first walk in a while. That'll help our on-base percentage. Here is Chad Huffman now with two outs. Bottom of the third inning, and Huffman's going to drive this one deep to right field, but it is going to die just in front of the warning track, and that'll end the inning. And we are stranded on the base pass. Fifth inning now. One for one with a single, and we scored a run. And we walked in our last plate appearance. We're in the fifth inning now. Still two to one. Erie with the lead. Trying to hold on to it. 1-1 one, one count. We're going to drive this one to left field. That one is high and is going to be caught easily out there in left. And we fall to 1-2 and two for the day. As we head to inning number 7. 1 for 2. 339 batting average. 2 home runs, 20 RBIs. We spit on that high fastball. 1-0 delivery with 1 out. And that was a two-seamer. We've been pretty patient in this game or in this uh, series so far. Another 3-0 count that we've worked, and we got the green light. We go ahead and take a hack at it. 3-1 delivery, and now we're going to ground into a 4-6-3 double play. Nice scoop by the first baseman. And at the end of seven, we're still up two to one. We're one for three with a single and a walk in the game. We do end up winning it two to one. So we have split the first two games of this series here in Erie. We're 20 and 22 on the season as a team. And we will get game three started off here. In the series so far, we're three for seven. And we will open up the bottom of the first inning with a lazy little line drive out to the shortstop on the first pitch. We go to the third inning now. 0 for 1, line out in the first. 0-0 count with the runner on first and two outs. We're just going to ground this one harmlessly to the right side. Second baseman takes care of it. And we will head to inning number four, all tied up at zero. And we'll skip inning number four and go to inning number five, where we have another at bat. We're 0 for 2 with a line out and a ground out. We got runners on the corners now with one out. Check swing, but it is called a strike. Four-seamer off the plate. We take it. 1-1 one, one delivery with one out. Then we're going to ground it foul up the first baseline. So we're down 1-2 in the count. And we swing and miss at the off-speed pitch. So we go down, leaving a runner at third. We're down 6-1 to one in the ball game. And now 0 for 3 coming up here trying to avoid an 0 for. Down 6-1 right, to one again. Up, right and this there. one is grounded up the middle. Second baseman. High throw, but it is in time. And here in the third game of this four-game series, we take an 0 for 4 in a losing cause. All right, final game of this four-game series here in Erie. We'll get things started off in the first inning here with Omar Rivera. 136 average. And he is going to ground it to the shortstop. Nice throw on the run, and we get the out. And we head to the bottom of the inning. Look at our monthly splits. April 324, May 338. 15 RBIs in April, only five here in May. And that maybe is a function of the team struggling and not getting runners on base in front of us. And here is another fly ball out to left field. Catch is made. And we are 0 for 1 on the day. We go to the third inning now. Batting average is under 330 at 328. We did get down near the 300 mark a little earlier and then went on a bit of a tear to climb back into the 330s. And now we're at uh, the high 320s. Here's a pop fly to left field. And that one's going to be chased down. I guess it wasn't as much of a pop fly as it looked like off the bat. We go to the fifth inning. 0 for 2, 
pair of flyouts, 326 average, 371 on base percentage. Again, we'd like to have that be a little bit higher. And we take the first pitch on the outside corner, call the ball. And now we're going to ground this one too short. And we're going to beat it out for a base hit. So hustling down the line. Can't take anything for granted here at double A. Runners on the corners with two outs. Fifth inning, Reading up three to one. And we're going to take off and try to still second. Here comes the throw, and we are gunned down. Cut down trying to steal. And maybe a bad decision to try to run there. Run ourselves right out of an inning here in the fifth inning. We go to the eighth now. Down. Still in the game. Junior Fernandez, two for three with two singles and an RBI at the plate. We have cut into the lead. It's three to two. And here comes a hard ground ball to us. We scoop it up, step on the bag for out number one. So we're one for three in the game, bottom of the eighth inning. Here's the delivery from the lefty, and that one cuts outside, 1-0. And that one's off the plate again, 2-0 count. Eighth inning, Redding up 3-2. to two. And this one a splitter, another 3-0 count here. Let's see if we got the green light. We take that one. It does catch the strike zone. 3-1 delivery. Nobody out. We're trying to get on base, try to get an insurance run maybe. And this one is skied out to left field. Catch is made. And we head to inning number nine. Ninth inning, 3-2, to two, two outs, 0-2 count. With a runner on first representing the tying run. And here is the delivery. Ground ball right at us, and it gets past us into right field. So if we could have gloved that, stepped on the bag, game would have been over. And the fighting Phils come back and beat us. Five to two. Actually, we failed to come back and beat them, more like it. So our series numbers, four for 15 with one RBI, one run scored, struck out once, committed one error there in that ninth inning, and we got caught stealing once in the, the uh, four-game series. So not a very successful one. We did win one of the four games. So our team continues to struggle here. We're batting 328 with two home runs and 20 RBIs. And we get called into manager Francisco Musser's office. And uh, he's going to ask us if we want to continue to play first base. And uh, as it looks, as it appears, it would be a little bit easier road to the majors at first base. The uh, first baseman up in Detroit, Miguel Cabrera and Victor Martinez, both should be retiring here soon. And uh, the AAA first baseman isn't all that great. So I think we'll uh, go ahead and try our hand at first base and see if that's a quicker route to the majors. And uh, that is where we will go from here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our stats. 43 games, 183 at-bats, 328 average, 60 hits, 20 runs, four doubles, two triples, two home runs, 20 RBIs, three stolen bases, caught stealing three times, 12 walks, 26 strikeouts, a 410 slugging percentage, 372 on-base percentage, an OPS of 782, 75 total bases, 201 plate appearances. We have yet to hit a sack fly, have one sacrifice bunt, have grounded into seven double plays, been hit by one pitch, have three assists, 147 putouts, have committed two errors, and a 987 fielding percentage. So that is the show for today. It is Road to the Show on Mama's Basement Sports Gaming.